you share maybe a little bit about your journey? Like where were the tough parts and how did your faith help you get through the tough parts? Yeah, there was a lot of tough parts. There still are. Um, I would, I would, if anybody was about to get into franchising, I'd let them know, get ready to be experience a lot of pain. Uh, that would be my advice to them. Just be ready to embrace that because it's not a rosy path. Even, even with capital, it's not. You know, in our case, we we self funded and um, we we used debt to uh, fund the franchise, and uh, that was very challenging to do. That very painful to acquire debt, not knowing how things would turn out. And uh, I, I'd say the, the 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 biggest pain points that I've experienced in franchising. Number one is bringing in the wrong people that don't have our core values. Uh, we thankfully we haven't done that too many times, but we've done it about we've done it two or th twice. And um, these are these are franchisees that after a few months I was ready to fire them. Yeah. And um, unfortunately, in franchising, you can't fire them. So instead, you 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 do your absolute best to make their life miserable until they want to quit. <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, I'm, no, I'm kidding about that. But there is some truth, right? When you have somebody that's just not a right fit you have to have some tough conversations because the reality is they, unless they're damaging the brand, they can stay in the brand as long as they want for their agreement. So for us, you know, we made it very clear with these franchisees that there are some major misalignment issues and we just encourage them to exit the system and we made it really easy for them to exit. And so that's what we did with those two very painful. They were good exits, but it's still painful because they put in a lot of their money right to buy a franchise and then they ended up leaving the system and a lot of it was because we did not do a good job vetting the core values and we just went too fast through the franchise process and that was th those were painful times the other painful times was again this was more around capital but when you don't have a lot of capital you know for in, in my case I'm doing everything so I'm the CEO and founder I'm doing friend dev I'm doing coaching and I'm doing everything else uh, because we don't have the capital to hire. So that that's very taxing. It's a huge burden. And especially when I'm doing things that I'm not designed to do. Okay. So I'm not an ops guy. I'm not a legal guy. Um, I'm not, that's just not me, but yet most of my time was stuck being doing that. So that was, that was one of the most painful times. It was depressing. 